You are driving a tank truck and the front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how much you steer. How far back does a helper stand when pumping or unloading liquids from a tanker? 25 feet. Liquid in a tank with baffles can have what kind of surge? Side to side. Side to side surge can cause. Rollover. You need to be extremely cautious when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are. Starting or stopping. Howling liquids in tankers require special care for two reasons. One reason is the center of gravity that tankers have. The high center of gravity. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in tanks without baffles. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? All of the answers are correct. You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as to 20 miles per hour and wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. You must have a tank vehicle. Endorsement to drive a vehicle with. Individual tanks over 119 gallons or total of at least 1,000 gallons. When should you inspect a tank vehicle? Before loading it, driving it, or unloading it. Outage means Allowance for expansion of liquid To control surge, what is the best way to brake? Keep a steady foot on the brake and don't release the brake too soon. When must a tank be unbaffled? If it has to stay very clean. Which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. If you must make an emergency stop, brake so that.
your vehicle will stay in a straight line. When you unload the smaller tanks of a tank with a bulk heads, be careful to check the distribution of weight. Which of these statements about tankers and their center of gravity is true? Both of the above are true. Much of the load's weight is carried high up of the road and tankers can turn over at the speed limits posted for curves. If a hill or curve keeps drivers behind you from seeing the vehicle within 500 feet, The rear reflective triangle should be moved back down the road to give adequate warning. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check your weight distribution. Outage depends on The type of liquid. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. Separations between compartments inside tanks that have openings or holes in them are called Baffles An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Use controlled or stop braking The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve. Then as you go through it. Accelerate slightly. When loading a tanker that has three or four valves at the bottom of the tanker, you should have the valves closed. If you steer quickly while braking, your tanker may roll over. You may not be able to fill the tanks completely because both of the above are true. The liquid may expand in transit and a full load of a dense liquid may exceed the legal weight limit. A vehicle placarded for hazardous materials must have placards on sides. Four sides. How can you start moving without rolling backward? Do all of the above. Engage the clutch before removing your foot from the brake. Apply the trailer brake, hand valve, and set the parking brake whenever necessary. You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. You're driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low, and you should adjust your speed so you can stop within 5. the distance you can see ahead. If your vehicle has any of the following equipment, what needs to work properly?
all of the above, vapor recovery kits, grounding and bonding cables, and emergency shutoff systems. Manhole covers should be closed before you drive the vehicle. Empty trucks may require longer stopping distance than full ones. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent the movement of surge from. Side to side. Liquid tight separations between compartments inside tanks are called bulk heads. The movement of the liquid in partially filled tanks is called surging. A tank endorsement is required for certain vehicles that transport liquids or gases on a long or steep downgrade. Once you have reached your safe speed, brake until you are traveling. Five miles per hour slower. When loading a tank with bulkheads, don't put too much weight on of the vehicle. On the front or the rear. If you do not have an automatic tank drain, when should you drain your air tanks? At the end of each working day. Exactly how should you inspect your tank vehicle? Read the vehicle's manual to learn how to do it. What should you do if you get stuck on the railroad tracks? Get out of your vehicle and away from the tracks. A smooth bore tank is also known as an unbaffled liquid tank. Liquid surge is especially dangerous on slippery roads. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? When making a quick steering movement, do not apply the brakes. If your vehicle is placarded, you must stop feet before the nearest rail at a railroad crossing. Fifteen to fifty feet. You should be extremely cautious when driving smooth bore tankers, especially when you are starting or stopping. If you drive a tank vehicle that you know is leaking, you may. Receive a citation and be prevented from further driving. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. When pre-tripping your tanker, you should check for Leaks. 
What does liquid surge do to the handling of a tanker? Surge can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. When hauling two tankers, where should the weight be carried? To the front. You should know that your brakes are fading when You must push harder on the brake pedal to control your speed on a downgrade. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on All answers are true. The amount the liquid will expand in transit and the legal weight limits. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? You should avoid traveling next to others whenever possible. Howling liquids in tank vehicles require special care for two reasons. One reason is liquid movement. Loaded tankers are said to have a high center of gravity. What does this mean? Much of the tanker's weight is high up off the ground. A tanker has lost its brakes. When should the driver use a truck escape ramp? Always. When howling hazardous materials, you must check any dual tires. At the start of each trip and each time you stop.